this one. Let me get one.
So on a scale of 1 through 10, I'll give this park a 6 out of 10, and here's why. So honestly, I wish the park emulated like a real African safari, you know, where you're running around in the, um, the Humvees or, or like the Jeeps and stuff, and then like the animal jump on the Jeeps and, and all, all that type of stuff. And you got like a, you got a tourist that got a sniper rifle waiting just in case. Uh, the animals get too crazy, then you just feel like a sense of danger. Like, obviously, they're not gonna kill the animal unless, like, they have to, but you know what I mean? It just gives you that sense of danger, like, something could pop off. So, that took the thrill out aspect out of it, riding the bus. And the only reason we rode the bus was because uh, I actually drove my Jeep with no doors, thinking we was gonna get, like, a full interactive, like, type type deal but apparently you're not allowed to go out there with doorless jeeps so you can use your personal car and they do have rentals like vans and little cars and stuff like that but they didn't have any for us so like i was saying um i wish it was more animals like i wish it was like little monkeys um jumping into the uh the bus with us i wish it was lions cheetahs Actually, it was one line, and it was a mainless line. That's crazy, right? But yeah, I wish we had... I, I even wish we had a black bear just walk up to us. You know, like, kind of like feel more more in danger a little bit. You know, like a like a, a, a stimulated danger type, type feel. But other than that, I was really focusing on my nine-year-old sister, and she was actually honestly enjoying it, so... As an adult, from an adult lens, I give it a six out of 10. And the prices wasn't that bad. I think it was like $24 per ticket. And I think for like kids, it was like, like maybe like $21. And then for kids under two, the age of two is free. So this is a great family event. Regardless, just because I give it a six out of 10 doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's a little bit above average. So I highly recommend coming to it, coming to this safari park. And then they also have more stuff. So it lasted like an hour and we're at the later part of it. So I think I think it was like after this, after this scene, it was like 20 more minutes left, 15 more minutes left. And I decided not to show everything because I want to give you guys y'all own chance to experience it. I didn't want to like pretty much ruin the movie or give it like a spoiler alert, you know? So, so definitely check it out, especially if you're within like, if you're in Georgia or if you're in like the Alabama coast, like, you know, the nearby states like Alabama, Tennessee, uh, Florida, stuff like that. So I definitely highly recommend it. It's, it's still a great safari. Like I said, it's just not like an African safari, you know, like it's not, it's nothing like Lion King. I feel like that. It's nothing like Lion King. But thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, let me know. Give me any feedback you guys have in the comments. And stick around for the next video. We're out.